Steph, right now. important question. Messi or Ronaldo? It's got to be Messi all day, every day. Last one, guys. That's it. Messi or Ronaldo? Just wait. You don't want to go down here, guys. You know you want to answer it. No, when you bunnies don't hop to my city flow So I'm gonna make them stop when they see me go Yo, there's a red light, I'm ending your road No, no one ain't safe, I'm breaking the code Stay in your place, I'll bring in your Okay, time out, so here is the deal My boys at Black Box, who, fun fact for you Are on the Indy 500 winner Alexander Rossi's car Which is just next level In fact, my new life goal is to get warm ballers on the side of somebody's Indy car I mean, that would just be the best thing ever I don't think anything could top that besides, well... So Black Box called me up and invited me to the last race of the season in IndyCar to spend some time with them and Alexander and to just appreciate the greatness of the sport. And I was like, yeah, I'm in. You guys are the best and it would be so fun to hang out. And what? 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 You want me to interview the winner of one of the most famous races in the whole entire world, the Indy 500? Holy shit! Yeah, I can do that. So take it away, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Alexander, the first question that I have for you, and it's a really important one, how much credit do you give to Super Mario Kart for your success? Most of it, actually. Yeah? Um, unfortunately, the upgrade of the turtle shells didn't, didn't come for us this weekend. Oh, that's unfortunate. That right? We could use that this year, but um, yeah, no, it's uh, that's a lot. That's like the first racing game I started playing is most people. Are. Right, and then is there any Bowsers out there? Like is Will Power the Bowser out there, or he's kind of like... Will Power is something. I don't think he's Bowser. <laughs> so at what point after you won the Indy 500, which is one of the most prestigious races in the world, did you think, I'm going to get so many girls? Like, <laughs> was it like after you crossed the checker line, or as you were drinking the milk? or? I, I think <laughs> in the, the five hour period post Indy 500 with my phone, Blue up, like Instagram, <laughs> just went off the charts. Yeah. What is the coolest part about being a race car driver? Getting to drive some of the most badass cars, you know, on the planet. I mean, I've been very fortunate to, to be able to drive a lot of very cool road cars. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, none of them come even close. I mean, there's nothing faster than an Indy car other than the Formula One car on certain tracks. So, um, just being able to, to call that your job and to be able to do that every other week and to, to be able to push the boundaries with a machine that, that has the capabilities of a race car is something that um, I fell in love with at a young age and still to this day I get excited about. That's awesome. Well, Jimmy, I don't know how it looks from your vantage point, but this guy should be an honorary warm baller. From my vantage point, Jimmy, I 100% agree with your sentiments. And it's less about him winning a big race in his first try, which of course is very impressive, and more about him just being a cool guy. Because warm ballers are always super cool, like all of you watching, right? 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 But that was the day before the race when Alexander had time to talk. So take me to race day. You know the day where you wore your Frank Sinatra hat and had way too much sunscreen on your face? All right. Let's do this. My first ever Indy race. And I'll be honest, I'm buzzing about it. This is going to be an incredible experience. Last name? Conrad, C-O-N-R-A-D. Handsome. Jimmy. I mean Jimmy. So I've been around this whole little city that they built outside of the track, and by far the coolest thing that I've seen is for kids. And you build your own little Lego thing, and you race, and then you win. No, you guys are terrible. They're terrible. I'm gonna take them down. Any tips? Just make it so like it's kind of heavy. It also makes sure it can support its weight. Okay. How are you gonna feel when I beat you? Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm like gonna Look at this. Up. He's putting his phone to make it heavier. Yeah. Oh, that's I think. A good idea. No, it's cheating. He's cheating. It should be Legos only. Okay. I'm totally gonna win this. I've worked my whole life for this moment. This is my horse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you right. know how I said to remove my phone? Did you put it back in? What a, ah. what a cheater. All right, here we go. This is really important placement. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, go, 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 go. No! 
That is the cheater. That's because you had the phone in there. Disqualified. Disqualified because he didn't put his phone in there. He's a Lance Armstrong at Lego building. I think I win by disqualification. I think that's a fair shout, but enough goofing around. Get to the race already. Since it was so loud, let me translate for him. This was an eye-opening experience because I used to think that these drivers weren't true athletes. They were just some guys driving around in a circle for an hour or two, and I've come to learn that it is so much more than that. Not only do they need to be in great physical shape to drive in a car that's going over 200 miles per hour without power steering, without really having the ability to move, they need to be in great mental shape to make split-second decisions which could determine whether they win, lose, stay alive, or die. Also, and what I'll add here back in the full screen so you can see my beautiful face, the drivers can can't do it alone either. This is a team sport in every sense of the word team. They have a driver coach, a strength conditioning coach, mechanics, engineers, team managers, crew chiefs, owners, sponsors, and some guy that holds an umbrella. And everybody needs to be doing their job to the best of their ability to give their driver the best chance to win. So my sincere thanks to Black Box for the invitation to get immersed in another sport. It was an incredible experience and I hope we get to do it again soon. And if you guys at home want to support Team Alexander Rossi with me, then hit like and leave a comment and then you'll be entered to win this autographed black box hat signed by the man himself. All right, that's it. I'm going to go because I have this sudden urge to drive really, really fast. Later.